Even of the Guru Sutra. A decision is a subtotal of all the past beliefs. So when you make a decision with the ego thought system, you're basically deciding based on all your past ego beliefs. And when you ask a spirit to make a decision, you actually step away from all your ego past beliefs. That's why we say that's a solution for our mind. By allowing the spirit to decide for us, we're going to let go of the ego thought system. Our mind is going to be trained to see the valuelessness of the ego. Our mind will finally be able to reveal this one problem that we have been deceiving ourselves. And be able to see the problem never existed. So in practical application, this is how our life is about. We make no decisions on our own. It becomes very simple. What is your decision for us? We pray together. And once we heard the decision, we are very obedient to the decision. Not because the decision itself is important in form, because where it's coming from, because we need it in our mind, because following it is going to give us an experience that we haven't had before, <laughs> because following it we develop more trust. That's why it's very, very important. So, we apply that to all the decisions in our lives. What time do we fly to a country? What time to have a meeting? The spirit actually knows what is the best for everyone. By relying on him, we don't have to analyze in our own mind what is the best for everyone. We trust that he orchestrates everything. So this is a valuable opportunity in this retreat. To join us in that. So when we pray and we we make a decision, we want to invite you all to join us in following the Spirit. Because that's going to start you a journey of giving your life over to the Spirit. And a practical way of how to do that in your lives. So this is actually a mini community that we have formed for seven days. This is exactly, it's no different than our normal life. We pray for the flow of the day in the morning. We might have plans from before the day. But we also have a lot of flexibility 
if the plan doesn't play out. And we spend a lot of time communicating our thoughts. So that we practice there is nothing hidden. And another thing we actually practice is to share everything. Toinen asia, mitä harjoitamme, on se, että jaamme ihan kaiken. Um, we don't have personal ownership. Meillä ei ole tämmöistä yksityistä omistajuutta. And what we do is we buy things and we all have access to it. Me ostamme erilaisia tavaroita ja käytämme niitä kaikki yhdessä. And it is a very deep lesson for the mind. Se on hyvin syvä opetus mielelle. Because a egoic mind is very addicted to individuality. Koska tämä ego mieli on hyvin addiktoitunut tähän yksilöllisyyteen. To privacy. Ja yksityisyyteen. And possession. Ja omistamiseen. Because what procession, the belief in procession is saying is you can accumulate more for yourself. And the more you have, the better, the happier you will be. And we, I personally, I never really questioned it before I came to the course. Ennen kuin tutustun kurssiin. Because it's so accepted in this world. Koska se on niin hyväksyttyä tässä maailmassa. But when we live together, so um, attack thoughts would be flash up. Kaikki egon hyökkäävät ajatukset huudetaan silloin ylös. What about me? It's the question. Entä minä? Se on se kysymys. And the ego is on the lookout of who gets more. And how I can become a victim. And how I can blame someone for my anger. So it itself is a very deep undoing for the ego belief system. It's a sentiment hyvin, hyvin syvä. And when we live like this, consistently, we find out the only way to have peace is to pray what serves the whole. And that what serves the whole question we open the mind up to think bigger than itself that never existed in the first place. There is a that never existed. To pray for what serves the whole. Allow the mind to go beyond this false identity of me. And that's going to give the mind an actual experience of what serves a whole makes me happy. Without that experience, we don't believe it. It's very hard to convince the mind that what serves a whole makes me happy. On hyvin vaikea uskoa tällä mielellä, että se, mikä palvelee kaikkia, tekisi minut onnelliseksi. So, <köhön> so again, in, in, in our daily life, that is the consistent prayer of what serves a whole. Ja meidän päivittäisessä elämässä tämä on se jatkuva rukous, mikä palvelee kaikkia. And what, what is what serves a whole to, to use our resources? Which includes our time. And the money that we share. And the 
and everything. Yeah, yeah, got it. And it's a very, very profound way of living. Se on hyvin kokonaisvaltainen tapa elää. And this is something that we also want to invite you into. To actually start living in a way that that have that prayer in your mind. That let your life be about what serves the whole. That is what's going to make us very happy. But there is a trick here. Because there's also an ego version of what serves the whole. And that is to help the poor. <laughs> because there's poor people. <laughs> they are the problem ones. <laughs> and sometimes certain people feel, I don't have problem, I feel guilty. Oh, we we're going to become peace uh, fighters to stand for a cause. And that is not the prayer of what serves a whole. The whole is your mind. The whole is your divine mind. So this question, what serves the whole, means what serves my awakening. What serves this mind to remember God. How to use my resources so that I can wake up from this illusion. And then you hear the answer from the Holy Spirit. To guide you make practical decisions, like we just said. And it's about your mind going into that direction. That is the big step. Allow your mind to go into that direction. Yeah. And a lot of people when we talk about our lives, they get scared about, they get scared. They think we ask everybody to have no personal possessions. The lesson is a lesson of the mind. So myself and a, a group of us by actually practicing it in form, we have a very, very deep lesson in mind. And a very deep realization in mind. And this is what we want to invite you into. Let's join in this mind direction to constantly pray about our holy mind and how to serve it.